I started to realise something was, wasn't quite right really with my body and how I was feeling really in my early 20s. It was terrifying. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I was alone in the world with this problem with no answers. Being a high achiever, I was just focusing on what I needed to do to support my wife and my daughter and my dad. And in that process, of course, I, I completely lost sight of myself. I think the lowest point for me was the point where I ended up in hospital and I was not able to move. I was completely under somebody else's care constantly. Um, my husband had to start working from home um, and taking care of the children. And he would have to, for example, feed, feed me water from a cup and carry me to the bathroom. My very worst day in this, this nightmare three years of, of this illness was the day I thought I was going to die. It was just an absolute sense of like, what the hell is happening to my life? Like, like why is this happening and what's happening? The patients that we work with, which are the most challenging for us, they're the ones that we learn the most from. And the journey that you need to go on to get well demands a huge amount of kind of personal investment. And it was when I did that bike ride, I, re I looked at the contrast from that hard time getting up the stairs to 160 miles on a bike and feeling amazing. I realised that everything I'd done had worked, all my hard work had paid off and I deserved what I had got. My husband has seen me at my very worst, my very weakest, my most vulnerable and also is sort of proud of my strength for him. It was like being reborn emotionally, it was like starting the whole thing afresh, you know. There is comeback from ME and it is possible to make a full recovery. All I wanted was to hear about people who had been this ill and got better. Could I have just a day where I get to see your face?